Well, this is going to be a quick Blender tutorial on converting 2D images into 3D anaglyph images. Uh, so I'm going to switch to Cycles Render, turn on RGBA and Transparent Film, so we get our alpha channel. Uh, and then I'm going to switch to Node Editor, turn on Composite Nodes. Um, we want to delete render layers, we're not using any uh, 3D here. Uh, open up our image. Good starting point is a cityscape like I've got here. Um, we want a scale node so that we can actually fit the image to our render size because right now it's not 1080p, it's much larger. Put it on stretch and now it fits. Uh, if you go down to the bottom of the UV image editor, you've got this mask mode that you can select. This is a new feature uh, in 2.64, I believe, um, where you can edit masks. So I'm just going to do a really quick crappy mask, doing control click to add a point. Um, if you're doing a proper mask, of course, you'd use the uh, rotor handles to uh, the bezier handle, sorry, to um, make it look make it look nice. And I'm just going to press Alt C to complete the mask like that. Okay, so if we go back to the node editor, um, it's going to give myself a little bit more space, and we're going to add our mask up here as an input. Okay. Right, the whole um, basis of um, the Anaglyph 3D effect is having our red channel um, distorted away from the others. So we're going to translate that by, for example, 5 units on the x-axis. Um, so next we need to have a separate RGB so we can just extract the red channel from that. Okay, uh, next we need another separate, and we're going to plug that into scale node there. Um, if we just take the red channel um, from our masked area, um, you can't see it now because I haven't set up our alpha over node yet, but you'll just have the red channel from here. Um, the mask bit and everything else will just be the combination of the green and blue channels. Um, so in the final thing we're going to have a combine uh, node under here and we're going to take the green and the blue from the original and then we're going to uh, mix it with our uh, composited red channel and then feed that into the composite window. So we need to add a color alpha over node which we're going to use to mix our channels. So here we've got our separated channel um, which we're going to have from our masked area that one goes underneath and then over the top of that we have the source one and this is where our mask comes in. Drag it down and put that in factor. Where are we? Yep. There we go. Right, and now you this the output of this node here will give you your mixed red, which we just feed into here. So we've got our reading in our image, we're gonna scale it to fit the render window, and we're gonna translate, separate off the uh, red channel and mix it with the original red channel here. Then we're gonna feed that back into combine our RGBA node to make our final image which is made up from the original green and blue channels and the distorted red channel. And then if you render, it will give you something like this. There we go.